All right, the second part of the process for uh, integrating a DVR into the network is actually getting on the network itself. And more specifically, not only do you have to join the network, but you want to join the network as a static IP. Uh, IPs come in two times, dynamic and static. Dynamic IPs move around the network, static IPs sit where they are once you place them. You don't want to use dynamic IPs in most cases because over the long haul, you know, once your IP changes one time, your remote view won't work anymore and you'll have to reconfigure it. So it's just easier to do a static IP. There are, of course, exceptions, one of them being a two-wire system, as a two-wire system doesn't really like static IPs. But we'll get more on that one later. So for this step, uh, we need to go to the computer, the computer that's on the network. And what you want to do is you want to do start and run. You're going to type in a command called CMD, short for command. It'll actually pull up a DOS prompt for you. And once you're inside the DOS prompt, you're going to run a command called ipconfig slash all. What this will do, it will tell you all the network settings of the computer. And this is good because this will give you an idea of what the existing network looks like. Uh, it contains information such as what is the computer's IP address, which is right here, what is the subnet mask of the network, this default gateway right here, 9 times out of 10, that is actually your router. That tells you what the router's internal IP address is. And then your DNS servers, which allow you to actually open the web pages. So we're going to be using a command called ping. And what we're looking for is an open spot on the network. We want to put our DVR in a place where there's no other network object. And the command ping, what it does is it sends out a test request to a network object. And if you get a reply, that means there's an object there already. So what we're looking for is actually a no reply. So the way the network architecture works is you just copy whatever the first three numbers are. Um, in this case, it's 192.168.1. And then this last part is you know what we're looking at. So if I tried to ping the router, which is on the network, I get test replies. This last number here can be any number from 0 to 255. So just pick a random number. It really doesn't matter what it is. Um, well, I don't know, 83. And what you're looking for is actually a no reply. And that's what you want. Uh, once you found a no reply, that's actually the network address that we will program into the DVR so that we will have a new unique address.